Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Mathematical induction is a powerful proof technique involving two steps. Step one, prove a statement is true for the base case, usually n equals zero or n equals one. Step two, prove that if the statement holds for some natural number n, then the statement also holds for n plus one. This creates a logical domino which then proves that the statement holds for all natural numbers. Let's do an example to prove that the sum of the first n odd numbers is equal to n squared. We start with the base case of the first odd number. It is true that 1 is equal to 1 squared. We now assume the formula is true for n, and then we want to show that it is also true for n plus 1, the next odd number, which will be 2 larger, which will then be 2n plus 1. How can we prove this formula will also have the same form? We start out with the sum of the first n odd numbers, and we know that is equal to n squared by the inductive hypothesis. We have the sum of the first n plus 1 odd numbers is therefore equal to n squared plus 2n plus 1. We can now factor n squared plus 2n plus 1 to get n plus 1 the quantity squared, and this shows the formula also holds for the next odd number. Therefore, we have proven the statement by induction. We'll now get to the thing I want to show you in this video, which is we will prove that in every group size n, everyone has the same age. This will be a false proof, but we're going to proceed by induction, and the challenge for you is to figure out where the mistake in this proof is. Step one, in a group of size n equals one, there is only one person. Everyone in this group trivially has the same age. Therefore, we have checked the base case of n equals 1. Now we will show whenever the statement is true for a group of size n, it will also be true for a group of size n plus 1. Consider a group with n plus 1 people that we will number from 1 to n plus 1. If we remove person n plus 1 from the group, then the remaining set of people from 1 to n is a group of n people. By the induction hypothesis, everyone in this group has the same age. Similarly, if we remove person 1, then the remaining set of people from 2 to n plus 1 is also a group of n people. Once again, by the induction hypothesis, everyone in this group has the same age. By steps four and five, persons n and n plus one have the same age as everyone else in the group numbered from one to n minus one. And therefore, they have the same age as each other. This means everyone in the group has the same age. By induction, we have proved everyone has the same age for groups of any size. Therefore, everyone in the world has the same age. Naturally, this is an absurd conclusion. So the question is, which step has the mistake? Can you figure it out? Give it a moment of thought before watching the rest of the video. So each step in this proof is valid except for step six. It is not true that persons n and n plus one will have the same age, even though they could have the same age as everyone else in the group. Why is that? The statement is not always true with the group of just two people. Consider a group with one and two. If we remove person one from the group, then everyone remaining, which is just person two, that person does have the same age. And if you remove person two, then everyone remaining, which is just one, also has the same age. However, 
Just because everyone else remaining has the same age does not mean that one and two will have the same age as each other. Person one may have the age of one and person two may have the age of two. So this is the flaw in this proof that it will not work when n equals two and therefore the induction domino effect doesn't happen. We can't say it's therefore then true for three and four and so on. So clearly not everyone in the world has the same age. Induction is a powerful proof technique, but each step has to be valid or you may end up with an absurd conclusion. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Prashtawakar. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.